Alright guys, so today is May 15th, and uh, it rained last night, so the grass is wet, so today we're going to uh, film Tarantula Fumigator 43. We've got a load of teeth to uh, feed, so without further ado, let's get started. So I have a mixture of uh, crickets, as well as the superworms that Angelo has given me, right? Alright, let's get started. Alright, I think the best bet is to do them in alphabetical order. So uh, the first one we're going to feed is uh, Canthoscuria brocklehursti, giant white banded. Good girl, Sasha. Alright, so now most of my Avix didn't want to eat in front of the camera, but we'll see if we can try to get my Aerticans, the giant Peru pink toe cat. There we go. Alright, I think now my tongs are officially in the T's fang, so I won't be able to uh, get her out. Uh, yeah, you can see. Don't know if it comes out clear. There's a piece of fang in there. And I don't want to pull it off because I might damage her. So, I lost my tongs just for the bang. But I guess it was a battle well fought. Alright, let's see Bracky Palma Balpolosum, Honduras Curly here. Curly Sue. Aw, oh, so gentle. She's a looker. So you saw an adult Balpolosum, here's a little sling. Here's Kira, she did an awesome attack in uh, the last feeding video, so hopefully we can try to duplicate it. She just really went into the burrow and glub glub. There she is. Uh oh. All right. So now both st fangs are stuck on my urticin, so I'm not going to touch it. So now I'll resort to my shorter tongs. And resume the feeding video. Now uh, this is Brachypalma bomi, a uh, Mexican far leg, adult female named Katana. Oh darn it. Beautiful. Pretty colors. Four and a half inch female Brachypalma smithy. Here's Scarlet. It's like four and a half inches. There she goes. Nice plump abdomen. Good for her. Well, I certainly like what Marsha did to her place. Uh, Ceratogyrus marshalli, the straight horn baboon. This is probably my favorite of the Ceratodarus species. Alrighty. Oop. She's gonna grab it. I don't know if you heard that hissing. She rocks. Here is Chromatopalma cyanopubescens, mature female green bottle blue, Valencia. Aw, oh, so gentle. But by gum, she's a really nice green bottle blue. Mystery sure loves her skull. So now this is an adult female, Sitharacanthus living stony. Better known as the Livingston's tarantula. She's webbing all over the place, which could mean that she's in pre-molt. That's another uh, sign to look for. People keep asking me uh, what to look for in uh, pre -multies. I'll uh, say it now. Um... So I guess it's worth repeating. So watch for fading colors, unusual aggression, uh, black patch on the abdomen, if you have a bald spot, and refusal to eat. For old worlds, you may not see the blue abdomen patch, but if you see the co colors getting much more dull in appearance, then uh, you know that uh, they're in pre-molt. That's how I got to know that my gra or Gallus was in pre-molt. And there she goes. 
She's trying to fight. Beautiful. Here's the popular cyclosternum fasciatum, the Costa Rican tiger rump, and, um, hmm. Looks like she's going to be molting again. I can see the blue spot on the abdomen right over there. So, again, that's one way to tell it's in pre-molt. Wow, that sure molted fast. I hope it's not a male. All right, here's a cyclosternum schmarde, the yellow banded bird eater. Uh, I named this one Laura. She could be a female. Oh, there you have it. <laughs> oh, that was sure lightning fast. Yeah, she's coming out. All right, let's try Bridget. E. Marinus female. She's gone. Hiding way down below is um, my female Eupalestress Camperstratus, the pink super beauty. Her name is Yasmin. There she goes. All right, now for the Gramastolas. Uh, Gramastola pulcra, Brazilian black female, ebony. She's very cool. Okay, now the next two, three or four of them are going to be Gramasola pull stripes, Chaco Goldeny. This is Charlotte, my uh, five and a half inch female subadult. There she goes. And here's Wendy, Nether G pull stripes. Uh, first time feeding her since she molted. There we go. Here's Peach. Oh! Not good. She went for me. Really gotta watch out for her. I almost got tagged there. And here's Mario, an immature male. Cool. Here is Talia, Gramasola rosea slash Potery, Chilean rose hair. That didn't take her long. Here is Michaela, rose hair female, adult. I'm going to be changing the bedding really soon to potting soil. Let's try back assault. Yeah, she just eats anything. Here's your tea, Ike man. Well, she finally decides to let go of my tongs, but she stole one of the um, rubber tips. She thinks it's food, but uh, I guess we'll see. All right, so now Apple Palma uh, Von Worthy, the Vietnamese Earth Tiger. And she grabbed it. I missed it. Here's head of Scotra Maculata, mature male from Kema. See if uh, he'll eat. I don't have much time with him. Uh, I just heard from Amanda. Uh, H Max don't live very long. Maybe six to nine months after the maturity. So he's only five months. So uh, he has a month or two left to live. So I'm going to be commencing the breeding project in uh, two weeks from now. Here's Dora, female Lassidora difficilis, the Brazilian fire red bird eater. Oh, that went well. Oh, Pierre's in pre-molt. Therefore, no feeding. We'll try Dan, see if he'll eat. Alright, Dan, do your stuff. There she goes. He goes, sorry. Nimature male. I forgot. 
I have got three males and one female. We'll try to female to see if she'll eat. Okay, I'm gonna give Daisy some crickets. See if she'll eat it. This is a three and a half inch uh, female Lassidor Power Hibana. Hmm. Sure, the hair kicker. All right. Let's do some nondus. Here's Mina, four inch. Female Nandu Colorado Velosis, the Brazilian black and white. And there you have it. Nandu Tripepi, Strawberry Blonde Bird Eater. Fast. Steely Blue Leg, Pophobedius uh, Antinus. Elizabeth, but I think this one's a male. I just love those panthos, how they eat. Now we'll try my platyama. I hope I have enough left. Okay, platyama. Gee. He was hungry. Here's Isabella, the... Vermictopus concerides, Haitian brown bird eater. Here's one of my fattiest pokies. Pococleria fromosa, Salem ornamental. Uh, mature female, Salem, I named her. There we go. Check how fat her abdomen is. Spider owner 69 asked me to fatten her up and uh, look how fat she's gone. Amazing. Alright, let's try Pocotheria ornata, the fringed ornamental. Aria. See if she'll uh, attack it. Oh yeah, she did, definitely. So it was pretty colors. Yep, that's an Renata. Thick Medusa's starting to become fat now, which is actually a good sign. Alrighty. Yeah, she got it. I uh, won't be able to see. Let me get a light. There she is. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and uh, try to attempt to feed Pocotheria rufalata, the red light ornamental, uh, Caitlin. She's approximately 5.5 uh, inches right now. She probably grew about 1 inch. Doesn't look like she's hungry. But here's her. Very, very thick pads. Wow, molt city or what? Got another molt this time from my uh, Pocotheria striata, the um, my sore ornamental. Oh, I don't even know how big she got. But Certainly a looker. Pocotheria tigrino wesseli, the Wessel Tiger ornamental. Bam, she got it. Two and a half inch female. Anyways, I'm going to go right now, so I'll uh, reconvene the video later. Alrighty, so let's start off with a Cambridge eye. Trinidad Chevron, you can see the eyes. She's a 7 inch female. This is the biggest Samopoas there is available. Redunkis, Armenia, and Pulker are actually the smaller ones. So, there she has it. I just love the moss green carapace when they're freshly molted. They're just amazing. Very underrated in the tea hobby, but worth getting. 
Update on the eight urticans. She still has my rubber. She is not letting go. <sighs> well, at least I had some rubber in there. She thinks it's food. I don't know why. I guess I'll drop it out and see what happens. All right, now let's try to feed the Erminia. Well, here's a better video of the pea poker. Uh, freshly molted a couple of days ago, so I think she should be ready to eat. You can find out. Yep. Definitely hungry. Yeah, she's at least three and a half inches. Cool. Alright, here is Terry, Salinotypus species Glenelva. Glenelva blonde whistling tarantula. Uh, don't know if she'll eat. Here's an update video of her. Around the two inch mark. And here's John. Mature male P. fasciata chewing away on a super worm. Alright, just uh, three more keys left. Um, the Thrixel Palma Ocrity, which we're going to do right now. And then we're going to finish off with the uh, Blondie pair. Where is she? Oh, here's Trinity. Okay, so. See, she'll grab it. Nice. A little fast bugger. Very cute, though. Alright, so I have only one super worm available. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw at least three or four crickets in uh, Hans's tank. It's the mature male T. Blondie. Yeah, not hungry. And we'll end with the female. Alrighty, now let's end with the female. Uh, I'm going to give her some variety darts. I have only one super worm available, so she's getting it. Right now. And I'm going to throw some crickets in there so I can really fatten her up. So she's still hungry, so I'm contemplating whether or not I should mate them tomorrow. Alrighty, so let's give some crickets. Alrighty, I have four crickets in here. Ooh, really hungry. Anyways, the Aircrans may have won the battle, but I have not lost the war. She's eventually going to drop it and find out that rubber doesn't really taste very good. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this awesome feeding video. And uh, I'm going to get some more super worms and crickets on Monday. And uh, probably I'll do tarantula feeding video 44 very soon. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed it. Peace.